All right, what is up, guys? It's Bolt, and I'm back here with another Remnant video. And this video is going to be a little different than what I usually do. It's going to be more of a guide for this particular fight because I've read in the past on my Discord and other places people struggling with the DPS check for Ixalis on Hell Difficult. You could actually trivialize this by using Rip Walker or Flicker Cloak and you wouldn't even have to worry about the DPS check. But this is for those Giga Chads that want to do it the old fashioned way. Blood, sweat, and some tears, <laughs> let's be real. And just want to do straight up gun on gun, you're done, action. So here's what you're going to do. So you can see here, we're using the repeater pistol. Typically in the other in the past, in the other difficulties, APOC, Nightmare, whatever the case may be, we will be using the Hive Cannon because the Hive Cannon would shield us from the Wisps. We will place a little Hive uh, Cannon shot down on the ground, stand in it, and then we'll kill the Wisp. This is not the case on Hell Difficulty, guys. Since we increased the adds in each fight, Ixalis summons a crap ton of Wisps. So what they're going to do is they're going to push you out of your little comfy Hive Cloud and into danger and you're going to die. So we have to be smart now, guys. We have to use the repeater pistol, which is the best tool, in my opinion, at killing these things. As it has 15 rounds in the magazine, and it has really good reload speed. So we're going to pair that also with the Frozen Spear. Frozen Spear is going to allow us to do two things. Number one, it's going to increase our crit damage by 20%. And we're stacking a lot of crit on this build. We have about 80% crit chance. So couple that with the extra damage, and we'll be doing some pretty solid damage there. And number two, the Frozen Spear slows Ixalus down. So what this is going to do is during the DPS check, it's going to give you even more time to squeeze in more shots. Extremely important, guys, because during that phase, we need to squeeze in as many shots as we possibly can. So we're going to stack, on top of the slowdown Ixalus, we're going to stack reload speed. So this build is running Gunslinger's Charm, Outlaw Sigil, and the Slayer set bonus. Also, you're going to be using your Frenzy Dust. St that was all stack, giving us an insane reload speed, guys. And you will have no problem squeezing in those shots to beat the DPS check. The only thing you're going to have to worry about is the new, the newly slowed Ixalus. So, I kind of I have a love and hate relationship with Freeze. As it, it, it's great because it, it makes you do a crap ton of damage. But on top of that... The slowed attacks throw my timing way off. So, guys, I know you're going to die a lot with the, <laughs> the slow timing down. But this is for campaign. You know, you guys can do a little trial and error there. Learn from your mistakes. Get the timings down. And you'll be just fine. Survival, I don't recommend it unless you're like a dodge king. If I'm on a high let round of survival, I probably won't freeze an enemy. Just because I can't risk uh, throwing my timing off and dying. Like right there. Look how slow the swipe was. So some other tips, guys. When to throw the Frozen Spears and when to activate Hunter's Mark. So for the beginning portion, around 25% mark of damage for the first Ixalus, the second Ix Ixalus will drop down. Monitor the first Ixalus' health. Right before you're about to break that threshold, activate your Hunter's Mark. Then get ready your Frozen Spear. So once you, uh, once you uh, get the second Ixalus out of his cocoon, you gotta throw the frozen spear at that one, throw the frozen spear at the first one, and boom, you're good. Second time to throw your frozen spears and activate uh, Hunter's Mark. Monitor when the laser beams are at the end, right before the end of the bridge. That's when you want to activate your Hunter's Mark and get your frozen spears ready for the second DPS check. You should be fine, guys, if you just, uh, you know, have a uh, situational awareness and you're paying attention. There's a lot, there's a lot going on in this fight. The more you do it, guys, trial and error, you'll be a master of it in no time. Other tips for reloading. In between rolls, guys, when you're doing when you're killing the wisps, reload your guns. Because sometimes they're gonna be bunched up. Sometimes your aim, there's so much going on, your aim is like, gonna be a little wonky. Like myself, my aim is not the best, it never is. I don't have the godlike abilities of the team Mario. He has like aimbot built in, I swear to god, the guy, the man is not human. So sometimes I'm gonna have to spam repeater pistol shots. And reloading in between the rolls is crucial. Another tip, guys. Manually re reload your sniper rifle shots. This means shoot, reload, shoot, reload. Makes you reload much faster. That's about it, guys. There goes the build. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Shout out to the boys at the Hell Mod. Making some great content. Bringing a lot more stuff to the game. And I can't wait to show you all of it. But until then, catch everybody.
on the next one.